what up, Capricorn, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, so I am back from a little break of being away. I was sick and like dying, and I'm not dying, so I'm happy about that. But um, yeah, guys, this is going to be your September spread, so let's see what is going on for you guys, okay? What is happening for the sign of Capricorn in the month of September, past, present, and future? All right. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Questionable. Good and bad. All right. We're going to dissect this, all right? <laughs> Let's see how this works out. Okay, guys. So the energy that you guys have is the judgment card in the reverse. When you get this card, especially with it being an energy, it's like you have to take a step back and say, is everything I'm doing in my life, is all the people that I have in my life right now, are they worth it? Is there something that I'm not seeing? Is there something that I'm missing? Okay? Now you have the devil card in the reverse, where it's like you took yourself out of a... Um, a toxic situation, but you still could be making bad judgment in a sense, because even under all of that, we have the six of pentacles in the reverse, which is just an imbalance in general. This is either you giving too much or not giving enough to a situation. Okay. And it's something that does require, you know, your energy. So let's see what's happening here. Now, the first card that you guys have for your past, we have the four of wands. So that's a beautiful card. You know, that's the first stage is to building stability in a situation. This could be with work. This could be with love. This could be uh, in friendship. This could be, you know, just building your home up, okay? But you, there's um, a stability here that you guys are trying to acquire. Or that you have, rather. But then we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse, okay? So there could have been someone that you were trying to build a stability with in the past. Uh, but it could have been you taking this energy or this other person where it's like they were extremely unreliable. This is somebody that, you know, you tell them to be somewhere at 8 o'clock, they get there like 9.15, rolling in with coffee and like donuts, you know. Um, or this could be somebody who's just very promiscuous in a sense. You know, somebody who's very, very charming, but someone who can't get enough of their affairs. Okay. And the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So there's a stability that you guys are trying to build here. But there's a sense of recklessness. There's a sense of uh, somebody who's doing things without thinking about them. Just being all over the place. You know, being tyrannical with their moves. Okay? But there is a new start here. And there's something that you're very passionate about. So part of me, you know, whether it's you or whether it's this other person or situation that you're dealing with, I think that someone here is in the dark about what's really happening. Because there's cards of happiness here, but then there's bullshit on top of it. Okay, so let's see what's happening. Why is this Ace of Wands here? All right, we have the Four of Cups. So there's a new offer coming in, or there's something new that you're very uh, passionately invested in or emotionally invested in. Um, and either you're making an offer to someone or they're making an offer to you, but it's not being taken yet. Or this could be a situation where... Whatever project or whatever relationship or whatever it is that you're trying to get started that you're passionate about, you could have more than one way to go about it, and you're not sure which way you want to do that. Okay? The world card. Okay, so the world card, this is a complete new chapter in your life. This is letting go of things from the past and starting with something new. Ending a project, starting a new project. Okay? So this is just saying, you know, it, it's time to move forward and there's going to be things that have to get, you know, cut out, dead weight, but this is going to be a good thing overall. And the card that you guys have that comes after is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So with the Wheel of Fortune, this is life taking, you know, really positive turn, things happening for you in a good way. Uh, now, for some of you that, you know, could have been in a situation where you're dealing with someone promiscuous or maybe you were the promiscuous person, whatever the outcome was in that, it's something that had to happen, and it's something that propelled your life to go forward in a good way or this other person's life to propel in a good way. But um, there's lessons learned here, and whatever was learned, you know, propelled you in a good way. We do have the Two of Swords in the reverse. So the Two of Swords in the reverse 
is making a very final decision on something. You know, it could have been something that you were stuck on. Maybe you having to choose between two people, two jobs, uh, just two situations in general. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So, okay, this is funny because I, you know, I actually, I did a reading the other day for someone and a very similar situation uh, came out. So I'll explain what this means to you guys. So what's that? Life is going well, you know, and I made a decision to move forward. And, you know, why am I emotional? Now, there's certain times where we go through something where we're dealing with, you know, this guy or this girl, or we're dealing with this guy or this girl, and we have these, uh, you know, unreliable people. But it's like, there's been readings I've done where this person, this unreliable energy, it gets cut off and this card comes up. Guys, this is because this is a good thing that you cut them off. Even if you're extremely emotional, or even if they're extremely emotional, the cards are saying, you know, it's good that you move forward from the situation. Now this is going to open the doors for, you know, new things that could come in. So this is a very beautiful thing. Don't ever look at a loss as a loss. Look at it as a gain, you know, a gain of knowledge. Okay? An acquirement of knowledge. That's it. Look at it that way, nothing else. So whatever this was, it had to happen that way, whether it made you emotional or the other person, it just had to happen this way and you had to uh, move forward from the situation. And there could be a huge sense of betrayal here, okay? With the Ten of Swords, guys, this is just, this is you being done, okay? Uh, just know that this is a card that could bring, you know, a lot of pain. This is in the present moment. So this is something that you could feel very pained over. But with it being, you know, a Ten, this is something that you're going to get through. This is something that you're getting over here. All right? This is the worst that could have happened in the situation. So you're at that peak, and now, like, you could choose to go whichever way you want. All right? We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, some sort of betrayal that's happening here. And feeling a sense of dissatisfaction. Oh, my God. I haven't spoken to my Capricorn best friend in a few days. I'm going to call her later. Okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's a sense of being at a standstill, okay? It's just like, fuck, where do I go now? And not seeing a path that you find feasible just yet, okay? We have the Magician in the reverse. There's somebody in your midst, or it could have been you towards someone else, but there's manipulation here. There's betrayal here. There's dissatisfaction. And the next card is the Chariot card in the reverse. So this is a sense of feeling like, uh, you know, life is not within your control, okay? And it could be within a love situation. So there could be someone that you're very passionate about that is just like you feel you have no control over it. And it could have been someone from the past that came back for you, and you're just like, well, this was a waste of time, okay? You could have been trying to start something with someone from your past, and they could have shown you the same colors that they've shown you in the past. Or maybe, you know, this could also be a, a certain thing where it's like this person may bring out the worst in you. But whatever came in from the past is just a waste of time. Okay. Now, there's communication here. We have the Eight of Wands as your next card. So this is you guys, you know, talking, trying to get through things. Uh, it could be communicating with this person that, you know, uh, you're, you're needing to leave behind. But... Right now, you know, with the high priestess being in the reverse, you have to be careful because the high priestess in the reverse, you know, she is someone that knows what's right. She knows what situation, um, where the situation could lead her, whether it be good or bad, and or whether it could lead him, where it, whether it be good or bad. But it's just like you're choosing to ignore all the, the signs, all the red flags, okay? So you have to be careful. Make sure you're not self-sabotaging. Nine of Pentacles, all right? So the Nine of Pentacles is the card about, you know, you could be doing well financially. You could feel abundant just within yourself. But with how this is playing out, for some of you, I feel that this is going to be a love situation or um, something that involved another person that now you're just realizing that you have to go about it. Uh, you have to go at, you have to go at this alone. Okay, because uh, the Nine of Pentacles is a card about being single as well. And, you know, we do have the Three of Swords in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this is a sense of uh, you could be in denial about things that have happened. Or this could be you uh, 
forgiving a person or someone forgiving you for, you know, things that just didn't go right. Okay. But I feel that this just wasn't easy for you guys, honestly, you know, and honestly, if there is forgiveness here, that'll be a victory for you guys. Okay. Cutting this person out is going to be a good thing for you guys. Now, moving forward, you guys have the Ten of Pentacles. So again, this could be with money. This could be just with um, your feelings in general. But you're feeling very good and you're feeling very abundant. So there's something here that you have to let go of. But this was a good thing. Okay, this is something that's going to propel you forward. Oop. So you got the Moon card in the reverse. So... The secrets that came out, the betrayal that you felt in the past or that you may have caused somebody out um, or you may have caused for someone else, you know, there's there's a healing that's happening here. Everything's out in the open. You see things for what it is. There's that sense of healing. Queen of Swords pops out again. So there's something here that I feel is getting cut out for you guys. But the cards are saying that whatever has been cut out, because this is someone that had you off your game. This is something that you just, you weren't listening to what your higher self wanted you to do, and you have to listen to that. Um, but you're cutting that out, and that's what's going to cause you to be abundant again, okay? Yeah, we have the Six of Cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, with the Six of Cups in the reverse, this is... You know, in this case, this is parting ways, okay? Parting ways with something in your past that just wasn't going to work, okay? All right. Now, the next card you guys have is a page of cups. So not all is lost here. There is messages, you know, of love being exchanged or messages um, that have to do with something that emotionally is going to gratify you. All right, Seven of Swords, though. So, you know, there's communication that may be coming in. And it could possibly be from, you know, this person from the past that you let go of because it's, it's right under this. So I got to, you know, I have to acknowledge that. But there's somebody who, it's like you're trying to cut someone out. You're feeling good about yourself now that you've cut this person out. But I, I just feel like there's someone here and they're, they're trying to bullshit you. They're trying to get the best of you. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles here. So this is someone that may make you feel, um, you know, very good and very abundant. This is your card here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to move this table because I need to adjust how I'm sitting right now. Okay. I feel that you guys are fully aware that the messages you're going to be getting in the future are bullshit. You're going to be aware that this person is someone that cannot be trusted. And I say that because it's you who's standing within your power. Okay, with this King of Pentacles, you're able to look at the situation and be like, nah, -uh, mm -mm, not again. Okay, and it's like you're working on that stability. You're working on uh, just putting yourself in a position where you can provide for yourself, where you can get everything that you need in life. So I see, you know, a huge focus on work. Capricorns are excellent and hard workers. So I can definitely see you guys, you know, immersing yourselves in the sense Okay. <coughs> now, the last card you guys have here is the King of Cups in the reverse. So, you know, there's something that you move forward from, even though it's hard for you to move forward from the situation. But with the King of Cups in the reverse, you know, there's somebody who's going to be very emotional here. And whoever this is could also be a promiscuous person as well. Okay. The King of Cups, you know, it's someone who's very, char uh, very charming. You know, they're very charming, they're very attractive, someone that really, really catches your eye, but, you know, there's a sense of unreliability when it comes to this person, you know, manipulation when it comes to this person. Um, for some of you, this is going to be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, okay, or someone uh, that has water in their charts. But it's just, you know, don't worry too much about the signs, it's just someone who's going to be carrying that energy, because anybody can carry the energy of the King of Cups in the reverse. And this is going to be frustrating for you, okay? 
You're dealing with someone who's manipulative in a sense, and it's just frustrating. And you have the Page of Swords where you're going to be very, very direct with this, and you're going to have that communication with that person. Now, I feel like this kind of like leaves off on a cliffhanger because uh, it's showing that you guys are going to be direct with people but very, very guarded, and there might be some conflict. Uh, I'm going to pull these cards together. I'm going to give you guys three cards of advice because I feel like this ends like so open-ended. So I want to just give you guys some advice on how to go forward with, you know, the situation for September. And then I'm going to pull you an Earth Magic Oracle card, okay? Just to give you some additional guidance. And I'm sorry, you could call me Bojangles today. I know this is making a lot of noise, but... Saw it, it was cute. I thought it was all right, guys, let's see what's going on. Give me three cards of advice for all Capricorns. Three cards of advice. And I'm just going to let them fall. Whatever the cards want to say is what they're going to say here. All right. What's the advice for Capricorns? In the month of September, how should they proceed with this situation? Oop. Okay, just want to make sure nothing else flipped. All right, get one more card here. I'm just going to rearrange these cards in a way that makes sense for me. Okay. All right. Now, the first thing that the cards are saying is be patient. Okay. There may be something that you guys are investing your time in that it's, it's not going to be fruitful for you or it's not going to be something that works because we do have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, which is something that you put a lot of effort into that's just not going to work out the way you want it to. And there could be a loss that you're feeling here and the need to just walk away from someone, okay, and give up, okay? Now, what the cards are advising for September is this manipulator, or it could be you guys, you know, doing the manipulation, but whether, it doesn't matter which way it is, this is something that has to be cut out. Uh, this person or this situation has to be cut off, okay? So the eight of wands in the reverse, there's no communication coming through. You know, things are very, very stable. And the thing is, I feel that whatever the situation was, whether it's you doing this or someone else doing it to you, but there's someone here that's trying to sell somebody a dream, okay? They're trying to sell you a dream, and it's all bullshit. And for some reason, you know, with all this instability, you guys may feel trapped by the situation or this person. Or you might feel trapped with uh, the, the ideas you had towards the situation, okay? So things here, you know, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So let's say you guys are feeling trapped in a sense, and there's just someone around you that's not easy to deal with, okay? And this could be you guys taking the energy of the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and the best way to describe her, just to understand her, is Mariah Carey when she's having a meltdown. And I hope she never sees my videos because she's going to I hate this bitch. But anyways, um, you know, this is somebody who is just very over the top, overly dramatic, just causes more issues than what is necessary. Okay? And this person, it's like when they get mad, they get mad. You know, this is someone who's going to be throwing shit at you. This is someone who slashes your tires. This is not someone you want to be around when they're pissed off. So there's just a lot of instability around a certain person or situation in your life who was trying to sell you this dream, you know? And I think right now what you guys have to focus on is things that make you passionate, moving forward in a way that you're going to feel gratified by the things that are happening in your life, okay? But someone was trying to sell you a dream or you were trying to sell someone a dream and it just it wasn't going to come through. So this is good because, you know, the reading ended with a shitload of manipulation. I'm like, well, we can't leave it here. The cards are saying, you know, you have to walk away from that. They're selling you a dream that's not really there. Okay? So um, 
I'm going to get some additional guidance for you guys. Anyone tuning in for the first time? Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen Z. Farmer. What is the advice for Capricorns? And I'm sorry, guys. My son's getting home in a few. So let's see. All right. Guys, I'm going to post a part two because something uh, is happening at my son's school right now that I need to tend to. I love you guys. Okay? Mm -hmm.